Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and this video is brought to you by our sponsors over at 3 d 4 Medical. Dot com, the creator of this app and a number of other anatomy apps that are pretty amazing. This one is called the Muscle System Pro version 3 and you can find them in the App Store for iPad, iPhone and also for Macs. In this video I'm going to be looking at the posterior compartment of the arm. More specifically, first I'm going to talk about the muscles that you find in that posterior compartment. Then I'm going to talk about the innervation for that muscle. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the functions of that muscle. By the end of this video, you'll have a great understanding of what is going on in that posterior compartment. So let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this guy around and then we're going to zoom into the region of the arm and we're going to look at the muscle that you find in the posterior compartment. And it's pretty simple. There's only one muscle. That muscle has three parts, but there's only one muscle in that posterior compartment and that is called the triceps brachii. All of this that you see here in the in the posterior compartment, that is your triceps brachii. And of course, the reason we call it the triceps brachii, triceps refers to the fact that we have three head. We have a long head, that's going to be this guy, and then we have a lateral head, which is this one, and then we have a medial head. And in, in order to see that, we need to hide the other two heads. So I'm going to remove some layers here and there you go. I can see uh, that uh, medial head of the triceps brachii. That is the only muscle, triceps brachii. Once again, triceps refers to the fact that we have, oh, I zoomed out there by mistake. Let me get back in. There we go. So the triceps refers to the fact that we have three heads. Brachii, of course, that refers to the brachium, Latin for arm. And that is the muscle that we have in the posterior compartment. Innervation of that muscle. What is the nerve supply to that muscle? That is done by the radial nerve. The radial nerve. And then when we talk about the function... I, I don't just like to talk about the function, I like to show you the function. So let's go right here into the media uh, so that you can see the extension, this mo motion right here, that's extension of the elbow. And you can see it again right now when that contracts. Generally speaking, when a muscle contracts, it's going to, be, um, it's going to pull the, the bone that's at the insertion point or the bone that it's inserting in on, sorry, uh, towards the bone that it's originating. And in this case, we're going to end up with extension of the elbow. Um, so in review, the muscle that we find in the posterior compartment would be the triceps brachii. The innervation of that muscle is the radial nerve. And the function of that muscle is extension of the elbow. So extension at the elbow, or you can call it extension of the forearm. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you got tons of value from it. If you want more details on this video in particular, this is episode 102. So come to interactive-biology.com slash 102, and you'll get information on the origins, insertions, innovations, actions, all that fun stuff. Um, so this is Leslie Samuel from interactive-biology.com. You can visit there, visit the website to get more resources just like this and other resources to help make biology fun. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.